Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Asunk Valhalla video. So, title update 1.6.1. Did that something else besides the Tomb of the Fallen back 2 into the game, the Runeforge? At least a little bit older Asunk Valhalla players think, yours truly included, that this is a little bit too late. But for new players, this is awesome in my opinion. Really helps the players to get the runes, the perks they want. And here is the location, so right above the Hildurans place, north from the river raid shop. And building this is actually costing you 600 foreign supplies that you are actually getting from the river raids. So it is time to go raiding, but we will get back to that one a little bit later on in this video, so keep watching. Also note that your settlement needs to be level 4, so if you are level 3, 2, 1 or whatever, do the story arcs, build up the buildings in your settlement, and get your Ravenstorp to level 4 to enjoy this one. After you have achieved sediment level, level 4, also raided in the river raids for the 600 supplies, rune forge up and running, you can start crafting the new runes from the previous gear that you have been collecting, like base game weapons, base game armor. Sadly, no DLCs included like Wrath of Druid, Seeds of the Paris or Dawn of Ragnarok. Also, Helix store items are not included in this selection, and I'm really hoping that Ubisoft will change that. I'm okay with no DLC items in Rune Force, but come on, let us craft the runes from the Helix store items that we own. Hauk, let us begin and let's see what we can craft. And no, from the main game, even the Gangnir, it is not in the selection, but Excalibur, the Mjölnir. They are definitely in the selection. Also you can sell you runes here. And if you haven't noticed, the runes are basically in order. It is not perfect system yet, but step in the right direction in my opinion. And what I mean by that? Well, they are not like all over the place. Before this update, they were pretty much just dropped here and there. Minor rune, great rune, poison fire, poison fire. So it was a chaotic mess before this update. But if you decide to craft any rune from your previous gear from the main game, it is costing you 450 silver. And no, the beggars in London, they are still in their coma, enjoying the vacation, so you cannot exploit that one. You can clearly see the source for the rune, for example, Mjölnir, the weapon name is there. Just craft it and then socket it if you want. And you are seeing the perks, what you are getting. So this is pretty simple, but I really do hope Ubisoft will add at some point the Helix Store items in the Rune Force. That would make it much, much more useful. Or what you think, let me know in the comments down below. And also, while we are at it, hit the like. And also, if you want, join my Discord link will be in the description box down below. I know some of you been struggling with the Balor in Wrath of the Druids, but that should be fixed now. And you can get the most OP weapon still in the game. After eliminating all children of Danu, you can go to the boss fight that was bugged, but not anymore. And if it is, let me know in the comments down below. Is ancient. He is chaos itself. Defeat him, and the spear is yours. <laughs> If Balor is still bugged for you, don't try to kill him with the stun attack. That was basically the most helpful tip I was able to find in the comments in the internet. Talking about all the members, my friend Tony did send this screenshot. After the update, he actually did get over 35,000 order medallions. And now Hatham is refusing to take them. So that is pretty funny. <laughs> On the day of the update, we also did get AC-15 settlement pack and also AC-15 tattoo pack that you can claim for free in Ubisoft Connect. And why not? It is free. So I don't see anything wrong with claiming this. I mean the statue, it is pretty huge, pretty great looking, generic assassin. As Ubisoft have said themselves, this is just a generic assassin. So no Ezio, no Altair. No, any iconic assassin, just generic one. And also the sediment tree, it is pretty awesome looking 
basic tree and on the front side there is assassin and AC-15 carved into the tree trunk. From decorations to the tattoos, I mean the AC-15 tattoos they are kinda much, black and gold, full body tattoo. The head tattoo it is little more subtle but in the end of the day you cannot even see the arm, back and front tattoos under your armor so that is hit and miss in the same pack so yeah head tattoo pretty okay other tattoos from this pack pretty overwhelming in my opinion and let me know in the comments down below do you like these tattoos or not i mean free stuff it is always welcomed it is always good in my opinion if you think otherwise let me know in the comments down below but let's move on to the river raids as promised in earlier this video Let's speak to Vaughn, Vaughn's map. So, dun dun da. This time foreign supplies, it says plentiful. Before the update, my map was exhausted. And when your map goes exhausted, that means you cannot grind, you cannot farm any foreign supplies. When it's plentiful, you can get the foreign supplies. And I highly recommend of getting those foreign supplies. Oh yeah, and the duplicates, they are removed. And no, the duplicates, they are not sold in the stores in Hildren's shop in one shop or in Niflheim shop anymore. We never know if we are gonna get any more buildings in the Ravenstorp or any more rewards in River Raid shop. So better to be prepared than not. And as said earlier in this video, the runes when you are trying to sell them, they are organized and whatever you do, please don't sell any of Seeds of the Paris or Dawn of Ragnarok runes, you cannot buy them back. Just the funny thing in my opinion, in Eden Ring Station, you can get there without dying, faster than the lift, like this, boom. And also, if you don't save or use the quick saves, when you are doing the dooms, well, dying will actually spawn you just right outside of the tomb. So if you are going there afterwards, exploring them, you can get out much faster just by dying if you don't ah, use the quick the saves. Also, if you have access, to Seeds of the Paris and Wrath of the Druids, remember to claim the treasure chest in Ireland. And also, if you are buying something in Norway, in England, or in Ireland, for example, like we are doing right now. And after going into the Frankia, well, the shops are still broken, not like many months ago, but you can still get the double items if you want. And Pierre's shop, still no runes, no materials whatsoever. But yeah, you can get the double items, double platinums, titaniums, crafting materials, if you want. So that is still working, if you were wondering. So here we go. And what is still working at time to time in Dawn of Ragnarok, sometimes the Odin powers are still infinite for me. For example, in this video I'm gonna show the power of winter, it will be everlasting. And also the boasts, aka the debuffs, how you can get more tokens from Kairos Domain. Yeah, that thing is still broken, they are still grayed out, so there's no point of grinding the arena. And I know I promised some of you, make a guide how to do the finishers, but basically finishers, they are guaranteed if you are undetected and use the heavy attack from the front or the back. Also having like a sickle on your offhand doing the special attack, that is actually a really good way of triggering the finishers as well. Before wrapping up this video, I really want to shout out my channel members aka the Elite Wolfpack, you guys are awesome. Also huge shout out to top donators of the channel. You guys are making huge difference and if you want to become part of the elite to get some fun perks like custom emojis and early access to some of my videos and much more, consider joining. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Scott, over and up, and bye bye.